What it do, y'all? Asaf Falks here with Sage Roberge. You're in the studio at the OC Recording Company. Follow me. Come to my soldering station. This is where the magic happens. Ah, Gia Gia. Let's do this. We're basically trying to solder the connector to the cable. So anytime the wire has three internal wires in it, it's balanced. Then we have connectors, a TRS, tip, ring, sleeve. So each one of those three internal wires is gonna correspond to a different part of that connector. See that? All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you what my bag of tricks includes here. Number one, our cable tester. This will tell us if it's working or not at the end. You're gonna need some skizzers, cable trimmer thing, solder. This is we're gonna melt onto the cable and the connector to make them stick together. My pointy tool. And then obviously our solder iron and our vice grip. Without further ado, Sage, let's uh, move over to our station here. You gotta be really, really careful when you're dealing with this solder iron because it will melt your finger off. This is what our TRS, or balanced quarter inch, is looking like. We have the three different spots. The ground's gonna go here, the white, and then the blue. Now the first step is gonna be to strip the cable. Just a little bit with the scissors, get it kind of going there. Our little stripper, wire stripper tool, blot out. Now we need our pointy tool. Now I'm gonna start at the very end, at the very end and just kind of de-thread this a little bit. Got them separated, give it a little twist. This is gonna be our ground, this silver one now. So twist it up. We can get rid of all this little white stuff here. Just cut that off. So on the TRS, we want the blue on the top the white and then the ground. For the XLR male, we're gonna have the blue on top, the ground on the left and the white on the right. For the XLR female, we're gonna have the blue on top, the white on the left and the ground on the right. See this? I kinda wanna give it a little bit of a cut like this. So now the blue will kinda be the longest, then the white and then the ground. That should be pretty good. Now we're gonna just strip them just a little bit. Just give it a little bit, just a little bit. Twist them up. Twist them up. All right, Sage, now what we wanna do is called tinning these cables. So I'm gonna put the, the cable in this vice grip right here. Let out. And I'm gonna melt this solder onto the cable. I like to start with the ground because I think it's the hardest one. So we're gonna just melt this on. Melt this on. Boom. That's good. Not too, too much solder. You don't want it too globby, but enough that it gets everything. Before we proceed, we need to put this guy on because this is what the, the uh, connector is gonna fasten into. And if we try to solder the connector on before putting this on, then we're gonna just have to take it off. Now, it's time to get it onto the connector. Here. So we're gonna go blue, white, silver. Let's just get her in the vice grip here. Now what I like to do is melt a little bit of solder onto the connector first. This is the way it has a little something to stick to and it kind of makes the process go a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start with the ground. Let's kind of get that in as deep as we can and make sure that it's kind of flattened in there so it's not touching any of the other connectors. You kind of see it melting. Now let's go with the white. All right, and then the blue. that like Picasso. All right, and we just need to double check that there's no chance that these wires are gonna touch. So I might even go with my pointy tool and just kind of separate these a little bit. 
We need to put this piece on. Just kind of fits on like that. Just kind of protects it. And then the top slides on over like that. This goes, twist, twist, twist. And we have a TRS. Twist her up. And we have successfully created a TRS to XLR male cable. And the cable length doesn't matter. This is probably like a 20, 25 footer. But the cable length, you know, you can get as much feet as you want or whatever. So, But I may have spoken prematurely because we still need to test this out. So we plug the XLR in here. And we'll plug the TRS in here. And what we want to see is just straight green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. That means the hot, the cold, and the ground is going to correspond. So on our first one here, it matches. You see that? Second one, it matches. Third one, it matches. That means we are good to go. Successfully verified that our cable is working. And this cable is now ready to make audio magic happen. This save you lots of dinero in the studio. So I hope you take advantage of this technique and uh, much love to all y'all. I made about every cable, wired this whole thing up myself, and I know it inside and outside. And it was a lot of work, but it's so well worth it. I love this studio.